All right, here you guys. I'm going to do a video showing how to wirelessly sync your iPhone with, with your iTunes. It's something they just uh, announced in uh, iOS 5.0. I'm currently running a 10.7 Lion on my Mac. Um, and on my iPhone, I'm running uh, iOS 5.0, the beta 2, for developers only. Uh, as you can see, I have the newsstand, all that other stuff. Then I like the most is... Know the notification bar, which shows you your missed calls, your mail, all that your notification bar. You can just swipe it, and when you get a new message on your lock screen, it just pops up, and you can slide it. So it's it's a pretty cool new feature. Well, I'm going to show y'all more of a uh, iOS 5.0 in my next video, <clears throat> especially on the beta 2 release. Um, but for right now, I'm going to get into how to sync your iTunes wirelessly with your um. Seek your iTunes wirelessly, which I mean, your iPhone wirelessly with your iTunes. So here we go. I'm gonna open up my uh, iTunes. Usually, I usually uh, open it up fresh. And as you're gonna see, <clears throat> that's my iPhone right there. Uh, that's this iPhone. I'm gonna, gonna, sh you know, I'm gonna show you this is this iPhone. I'm going to my settings and general. And going to about, and you can see this is the, these are the same iPhones. They're both Donny Avery's iPhone 4, as you can see. I'm trying to block up my phone number there. Um, software version 5.0, uh, Donny Avery's iPhone 4. iTunes sync is complete. As you can see, it says I connect this iPhone with USB cable in order to sync. And would, so it's, it's basically a sync over the Wi Fi connection, which is I'm using a file, so it's pretty fast. So it all, I guess it depends on your, your Wi Fi connection because when I sync my iPhone, it does it pretty fast. Um, this is, this is the Verizon iPhone 4. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about that. Um, go back into settings. Got the general. Uh, got the, and I got the iCloud, Twitter. Twitter is all, is, uh, actually integrated in this version. So that's pretty hot. Um, I'm going to go to general. And as you can see, I to sync. I can, I can, uh, I can either start to sync from my iPhone or I can start it regularly as you would. Through my through my Mac. Um, I think I think I want to start it through my first. I'm going to actually go to music. So I want you to see how it looks when you're actually syncing something. So I'm going to do another playlist. And I'm going to hit apply, and then she see it's going to say it's going to start to sync, preparing to sync, and down here it's going to say syncing. There's no cables connected, nothing like that. It's all over the Wi-Fi network. As you can see, the thing I like about uh, 5.0 is when, is when you're syncing your iPhone via cable or via Wi-Fi, you don't have to stop using your iPhone to actually, you don't have to stop using your iPhone while it syncs. You can, I can still, you know, do everything that I want to do. If it's app syncing, it'll just, it, the apps won't, will be hollow, so you can't really click on them. But everything, you can still, you can still call people. I can still uh, listen to music, even if it's syncing music. The music won't, won't, but it won't be lit all the way up. Let's see, let's see if I can find that playlist so I can show you. Uh, let me see if I can find that playlist. Hold on one second, guys. No, I just add it to this. Well, it it'll just be hollow, so you can't listen to the song, but it'll show that it'll show that it's syncing up there. Uh, that's pretty hot too. Um, basically it's all the same. I'm probably gonna do a, a video later on uh, iOS 5 on all the new features and everything. My thing, I, I don't like the that doesn't say iPod anymore, but I'll get over it. Uh, looks, looks pretty good. I mean, same different thing. Uh, iCloud instead of back, I have mine set up to where I can back, I back my iTunes up over iCloud instead of pushing it back in up to my Mac. So when you get a new iPhone, all you gotta do is go in the store and there, and all your stuff will be transferred over just through your email account, which is cool. Apple's uh, using is doing it for free now. But uh, sync over Wi-Fi connection is what this video is about. So you can see it's, it's my device is in there. It's gonna say finish and sync. So as you can see, it's not spinning anymore. It's not a. Uh, it's not even spinning no more, and uh, just does it seamlessly. Like it's, I think I think doing it over Wi-Fi is, is better than the cable. It might be a little a little teeny bit faster, but like I said, I have FiOS, so I really I don't really see I really don't see a difference in the quality. But uh, that's my video on that. I'm probably gonna do it. I'm recording this video with the the Evo 3D that just came out on Friday, so I'm probably gonna do a video on this Evo 3D as well as iOS 5. 
Uh, the Thunderball is uh, what you see over here. It's probably pretty self-explanatory. So I'm probably not going to do a video on that. But I'll probably end up doing a video on uh, on 10.7 Lion, too. But, uh... Cause they have the, the cool the launch pad feature, and a couple of new features, which I which I think is pretty is pretty cool. So, you know, like you got have all your devices shared and all that other stuff, but airdrop and all that stuff. But I'm probably gonna do a video on this later. Um, for right now, I thank y'all for tuning into this to watch this video, and I'll talk to you guys later.